All right, guys, what we have here is a vole. It's a little bit different than a mouse. Uh, you can see that the tail is a little bit shorter. Let's go ahead and have it move around a little bit. Um, and its snout is more like a mole than a mouse. Now Luke here, he found it. Say, I found a vole. I found a vole. So cool. And uh, these are way different than mice though. A lot of people think they're the same. A mouse will like to get inside attics, basements, inside the homes and eat popcorn, cereal, just really just about anything you have. They'll even chew through insulation. Voles like to stay outside and uh, what they eat is, is more like vegetation. So they'll eat grasses. So Luke found some grass and put it in here. And you might even see it munch on some grass in a minute. Um, they like to eat roots, uh, plants, bulbs. So a lot of times what happens is homeowners will start to see some of their vegetation start to die and some of their like new plants that they put in not doing very well and they can't figure out why it is. It's getting enough water, it's not getting too much sun. A lot of times this right here is the issue. And so these voles, they're extremely prolific breeders. They can have anywhere from 15 to 60 babies in a year. And all of those babies will soon have more babies. So you can go from like one couple to a couple hundred couples in the course of one summer. Now, most people will see evidence of voles in either when their plants die and they don't know what it is or in the winter because um, they like to be underground, right? But they, a lot of times in the winter, they think that the snow is under the ground. So they'll be under the snow, but on top of the ground. So when all the snow melts, you'll see all these trails on the yard. And uh, a lot of people think that voles are only around in the winter, but they're actually more active in the spring and summer. You just don't see them as much because they're underneath the ground. And so what we do for these is we put out bait boxes and if they're in your area, they'll eat the bait and it will eliminate them. And uh, we, we do pre preventative bait boxes so that if they're in the area at a neighbor's house or a field across the way, they'll eat the bait before they get established on your property. These don't travel very far. They only travel about a quarter of an acre at a time. And so um, it's important that we keep them away from your property and keep com not coming from other, other properties or fields. If you're close to a field, you should probably have a preventative program for voles. So anyway, these are, this is the vole. Um, Luke, do you want to say anything about voles? Uh, voles are very good hiders. <laughs> yeah, they're very good hiders. They hide under the ground, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to 